The extreme kayaking race down Jacob's Ladder in the golf course on the North Fork of the Payette River evolved into one of the premier races in the world. It's just such a big part of our family and the paddling community here. On Friday, the Voorhees family announced the event will be canceled this year and it might not return after a change with insurance provided by the American Canoe Association. That has created a domino effect for whitewater events, canceling the Gore Canyon race in Colorado in August and then the Featherfest race in California in September and now the NFC. Specifically to this river is, is extra dangerous course is clear, safety is in place. In the four years covering the NFC, I never saw any incidents or heard about any major injuries as competitors know what they are getting into and this event draws the best kayakers in the world. I'm excited and, and scared. <laughs> Other issues came from growth. Organizers had to work with ITD to close a passing lane on Highway 55 at the turnout for Jake's. Crowds would line the rocky bank to watch the action and I honestly thought a fan falling in the river or an accident on the highway would would happen before an incident with the kayakers and the Voorhees family deserves a ton of credit for hiring Mav Event Services to handle parking and direct the crowds. The event also outgrew the venue in Crouch and the Voorhees family cited a tough economic time for sponsors. 160 racers, 19 countries. James and Reagan Bird created the North Fork Championship with equal prize money for the men and the women. Anybody could try to race to qualify for the main event and their dream helped progress the sport into a new realm. And nobody knows that better than kayaking legend Rob Lesser, who had the first full descent of the North Fork in 1977. There is no question. This is the creme de la creme of those, the people that are racing in the North Fork today. That's, that's the best in the world. Alex Voorhees giving younger brother Hayden a high five on the start ramp. My favorite part came with watching the Voorhees brothers grow up. The family took over the race for the last three NFCs. Alec raced in all 10 competitions with four top five finishes, including second in 2021. And last year, Hayden won the crown. So if the North Fork Championship doesn't return, at least an Idahoan has the title of the fastest blades in the water. This has been our goals for for, since we started kayaking, since this event started, we wanted to win this championship and I finally did it. The North Fork Championship could return at some point, but the Whitewater community will need to figure out the insurance problem or somebody with deep pockets will need to come in and save it. In the meantime, this news has been felt far and wide by kayakers all around the world. Steve Dent, Idaho News 6.